The GH6 is a great camera. I love the feature set. It has everything I wanted from a video camera for what I do. There are great codecs inside. I love the handling. I love the form factor. I love the display. I love the fact that we have 10 bit slow motion up to 300 frames per second in full HD and 120 frames per second in 4K. But there is one big issue for me on this camera that the GH5 and the predecessor of those cameras didn't have. And that is the missing battery. The GH5 for me is one of the best cameras for event shooters because it has a battery grip. The battery grip enables the camera to practically shoot forever. You can switch the battery in and out while the camera is sitting firmly on the tripod and it extends the battery life up to over two hours. So this is great if you, for example, film a wedding ceremony. But with the GH6, this isn't really possible because uh, the battery life is the only downside on this camera. I can shoot with the GH6 up to an hour, but then I have to change the battery. And when I'm in a wedding ceremony, and for example, there are the wedding vows, I don't have the time to change the batteries. And also, I don't really like to change the batteries during an event, and I don't want to think about switching batteries. So that's a big downside for me, but my guess is that there will be a photocentric GH6 which features a battery grip because the battery grip is normally made for vertical shooting. But for me as a videographer, it's just uh, another mean to extend the battery life. And I think many other video shooters do the same. So there are two options. The first option is using a dummy battery. I can use the S5 battery with a little bit of uh, drilling. So if you're interested in a dummy battery uh, setup, I would love to make a video about it. Just let me know in the comments down below. The only downside with the dummy battery is that it has some issues. For example, I can't shoot photos. The camera freezes up frequently when using external power over the dummy battery. And also when I use it with the NPF batteries, the camera quickly starts to uh, shut down when I want to shoot over 100 frames per second, even in full HD. That's an issue for me because I really love the 100 frames per second option because it has great, great quality. So the only other option is to either change batteries all the time, which I'm not a big fan of, but we have the USB-C and this is why I made this little setup, which is practically some sort of a battery grip. It sits right beneath the camera, it doesn't obstruct my display and it's not on top where I need my microphone or my monitor. So it's right where I want the power to be. And I know there are other options uh, such as the power base, but that thing is gigantic and far too big for uh, my camera. So that's not really an option for me. What I did is I bought the small rig black mamba cage which is a great cage it fits nicely onto the camera and then i got the small rig clamp this clamp can be used either with ssds or power banks so it's made for that and i uh, mounted it onto the cage itself on the back of the clamp i bought this cam weight blade and mounted it sideways onto the clamp and why I chose this base plate is because there are holes all around and it's really cheap. I think it's around 20 bucks. So I was able to mount another plate on the bottom. So I can mount this onto the tripod. That's my option. That's my solution for getting some sort of a battery grip on the GH6. I use uh, this 90 degree USB-C cable. So I'm able to run power into the battery. And the great thing about the GH6 using it with this power bank, this is a really old power bank. It uh, doesn't feature any of the higher standards. So, uh, and this is not a problem because it just chooses the battery over time. So it doesn't run low and I don't need to power the camera over this power bank. For example, with this power bank, which has 10,000 milliampere or 37 watt hours i can run this camera uh, over the course of five to seven hours and 
that's great. I only need one battery inside the camera and this battery pack. If I have a longer shooting day, I can simply remove this power bank and put in another one if I wanted to. Of course, the setup will get heavier, but it really depends on what power bank you use. So I wouldn't put in a too big of a power bank. The bigger the power bank, the longer the camera will run. So if you have a really, really big power bank like this one, uh, you can run the camera all day long without any problems. But this is really a big power bank. I wouldn't use that, but I used it. So, <laughs> but I really would only use that one. If you're interested what parts I used, I will have the list down in the description. And it's really a cheap option to get some sort of a battery grip for the GH6. And I'm really a little disappointed from Panasonic that they dropped the ball on this one. Because for me, as someone who shoots a lot of events, this is kind of a bummer. Because I love the GH4 for its long battery life. And the GH5 had great battery life but it needed the battery grip for wedding ceremonies because those can last up to two hours and one battery won't last you that long. The GH6 has even worse of battery life. It's not bad by any means. It's not Blackmagic Pocket camera. Those are really bad, but um, it's still not great. And I would love to see an option from Panasonic themselves and not me having to tinker around to make my own option. I hope they will consider in the future, maybe with the GH7, that they will put back the battery grip. I would really appreciate that. So I hope this setup is useful to you. I really like it. I used it for the last couple of months and I have to say I'm quite happy with it. It's Still not the best solution in the world, I know, but for me it works quite well and it's uh, quite form-fitting for this camera and that's why I chose this option over the other ones. If you are still interested in the option with the S5 dummy battery, I will gladly do a video on that. And yeah, that's it from me. I hope it was useful to you. Let me know in the comments down below. And if you like this video, I would really appreciate if you give me a thumbs up. And I hope you have a nice day and create something extraordinary.